Hey guys, it's Kevin and welcome back to another episode of the Hopcast and today we have another beer review for you being KBS Espresso um, from Founders Brewing Company's Barrel Age series. This is the first variant that KBS has ever produced. I, you could maybe call CBS a variant, but I, from what I understand it's not exactly the same beer. Uh, KBS has been around for a number of years and this is the first time that they have uh, ventured out to do a variant. Maybe that's because they were bought out by a larger conglomerate and they're trying to cash in on some more money. I don't know. Um, but I'm excited to try this. Uh, it's very similar to KBS. It's a 2020 release bottled on 11 12% alcohol. And uh, I will read the description on the back here. KBS gets its coffee fix in the very first variant to come from our beloved bourbon barrel aged stout. Yes, KBS may already be brewed with coffee, but it gets some extra oomph. Oomph, I like the word, when it's aged on espresso beans after being removed from barrels. The result is a fresh and shap oh, shappy, <laughs> I almost said shappy, snappy coffee twist on our classic barrel aged beer. Who says you can't start your day with a barrel-aged stout? Um, well, I don't recommend you do that because at 12%, you may have a long day ahead of you. Um, but uh, I'm excited for this. Founders, you know, you say what you want about them. Uh, but I will say that I have always enjoyed their beers. Uh, Backwoods Bastard is one of my favorite beers from Founders. Um KBS is good, CBS is good. Uh I like Dirty Bastard is good. Um there's tons of beers that they make that I like. So even though it's a beer that may be shelfy worthy, <coughs> that doesn't mean that I won't still buy it. So let's get right into the review, shall we? Pop that sucker open. Woo! Hello. Nice espresso. Oh man, it smells like a coffee shop in there. All right. Pour that sucker in. Beautiful head on the beer. Um, half a finger length, maybe closer, maybe three quarter of a finger length beer head. Uh, color is whitish brown. Um, the beer is solid black and smells like a coffee shop. I like it. You know, no frills here in a stout. I'm expecting it to taste like KBS with a splash. <laughs> Of coffee. Let's give it a taste. Woo! <laughs> give me the chills. It's kind of cold down here. I film in my basement, so, but uh, that one said chills through my whole entire body. Um, Mm, just sharp, bitter espresso beans, succulent coffee. I'm a big coffee fan. Um, I don't know if you remember the PBR coffee video I did, but I love coffee. Love, 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 love it. You know, there's not much of a nose. I think like the other stuff that's in KBS, uh, the chocolate maybe, kind of gets lost a little bit. The bourbon gets a little bit lost. I mean, it's definitely it's definitely still there, but the coffee kind of overshadows much of the beer. Again, not a bad beer, but definitely one that um, I actually prefer the regular. I like coffee, but I don't know how much the coffee improves this beer overall, at least in the taste department. Mouthfeel is good. Standard KBS, uh, sharp on, on the intake, and just 
as it warms up, the beer just kind of sits pillowy on your mouth. Uh, very tasty. Mm. It's a tasty beer. It's pretty good. Wouldn't start my day off with it like it says on the bottle, but uh, it is definitely a good beer. <clears throat> I'm going to have to go to sleep after this. It's like a 12% alcohol beer and very tasty stuff. Very tasty stuff. Hmm. Very good. I'm going to let this sit for a little bit and uh, see if it, as it warms up, we develop any other kind of flavors. All right, so we are back. I haven't touched it uh, since I let it sit. Always like my stouts to warm up. My fridge is a little cold and finicky, so I can't get it right to that stout temperature that I want. Oh, okay. Now I'm getting the bourbon. As the beer warms up, I'm getting more of the bourbon. Uh, it complements it well. I honestly think it's not bad. Very tasty, bitter coffee. Um, lovely beer overall. What would I say for the verdict? Well, um, I don't know if I like it as much as regular KBS, but it is a nice variant. I'd like to see other variants, maybe if they would do that in the future. Um, but decent mouthfeel, although the adjuncts, uh, and the chocolate and stuff, they, it kind of gets overshadowed by the coffee, the coffee, the espresso is dominant. The bourbon barrel character only really comes through as a beer warms up. So I would give this one a four out of five, uh, kind of ruins some of the complexity once you bombard it with espresso, but it's still a very good beer and, uh, can definitely knock you out at 12% alcohol. So that's going to do it for me today, guys, on this episode of the Hopcast. Uh, what did you guys think? Have you had KBS Espresso? Let me know in the comments below. Uh, I'd love to hear what your guys' thoughts are as well. Feel free to follow me on Twitter and Instagram and Untapped. All those links are below in the video description. Uh, and as always, guys, remember to comment, like, subscribe, and smash the heck out of that bell for notifications so my beer reviews and other videos can come to the top of your list. That's going to do it for me. I'll catch you later.